Hello beautiful creatures, welcome back to my channel, Fira. If you're new here, my name's Cordelia and I love bright and colorful alternative makeup, alternative fashion, and more. So if you love those things, please be sure to click the little subscribe button down below so you never miss my videos. I currently upload on the weekends and I upload as many videos during the week as I possibly can. So today's video is a request from you. This is a matte rainbow eye and it's also a get ready with me because I'm getting ready to go hang out with my friends later this evening. Usually every other week we hang out with our friends at what they call beer night. It's not like all about beer or anything like that but it started off as we would go to restaurants and and just hang out and have drinks or whatever and then we also would do it at people's houses then COVID happened so we started doing it over zoom and now we're back you know to doing it in person and hanging out and stuff so that's what I'm getting ready to do let me zoom in so you can check out what I put on my eyes so you can see if you want to see how I did this look so yeah if you want to see how I put this look together in my outfit for hanging out with my friends just keep watching I've already applied my Concrete Minerals Glitter Eye Primer and I tightlined the upper waterline with the Nautilus Black Cupid's Arrow Longwear Stylo I'm going to take the Melt Cosmetics color Sangre right here. I'm going to create a tiny little arch here at the inner part of my eye. Not very big at all and I'm not going to worry about exact placement with it because I'm going to go back and crisp it up with a different brush later. Take Corazon, this brighter red right here, and the same Goss 5 brush and I'm going to go directly underneath where I put the other color and I'm creating a slightly larger arch. I'm going back with the deeper red Sangre and this winged eyeliner brush from the Sigma Samantha Ravendahl collection and I am just sharpening this curve. making it more defined. I find that using smaller brushes makes this easier. And if you find your hands shaking a lot, I recommend that you put your elbow on a table to help steady your hand, because that's what I do to make it a little easier. Next, I'm gonna use the Melt Radio Active Palette. I'm gonna take the color Radon, which is this bright orange, very lush. I'm using a Signe Grace eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to apply this at the edge of the red, so kind of on top of it. And I'm furthering this little arch at the inner part of the eye. It's coming down. I switched to a Sigma E6 winged liner brush and I'm going to create a swoop. Almost like a piece of windblown hair. Sort of wing thing out here. I'm going back with Corazon on the Goss 5 brush, and I just spritzed it with Urban Decay's All Nighter as well. I want to make sure the red doesn't get too muted. It's a delicate uh, dance for me going back and forth between those two because I really struggle with orange and yellow. They are not typically colors I wear because I don't think they look good on me. But for a rainbow look, you gotta have all the colors of the rainbow. I'm going to take Neon, this super bright yellow, with the Sigma Samantha Ravendahl Detail Pencil. And I'm going to start putting this at just the like inner V, inner corner part of my eye, and then I'm gonna shape it underneath the arch. So see, I got it like right here, just this inner portion. Now I'm just gonna carefully shape it along the bottom of the orange. I'm taking an angled eyeshadow brush from Sydney Grace and I'm going to use this to create a swoop shape beneath the orange. Or yeah, beneath the orange. I'm going to use the Sugar Pill Anniversary palette and take the green color Cali and I'm using the Lethal Cosmetics pencil brush. I'm putting this color on my lid. I'm leaving a little bit of it off the end because I'm going to blend a blue there. 
I'm taking the Melt Color Hazmat, this deep, vivid purple. I'm using an IT Cosmetics 125 Smoky Liner Brush. I'm going to draw my wing from the outer lower part of my lower lash line, and I use this as my guide because I have very hooded eyes and I have a lot of excess skin at the outer corner. And I don't worry about making the wing perfect right now because I'm going to go back and shape it later. One thing I do is I will look forward into a mirror uh, with my eyes up, or um, I guess as deep as they're going to go in the crease, so that I can fill in any gaps I see in my eyeshadow here at the outer area for my skin, because my skin, like I mentioned, will distort the shape. So I fill that in just to make sure that I get like a nice solid line. I'm also going to take this along the upper lash line, just a little bit at the outer part of the eye. I'm taking the Sugar Pill Anniversary Palette in the color After Party 2020 because it is such a badass bright electric blue, it needs to be in a rainbow look. <laughs> and I'm going to put this from about the midpoint of my eye, so it is going on top of that green, but I'm dragging it along the top of the purple and just this outer sort of like area of skin in my eye. I'm applying a little bit more of After Party 2020 with a damp brush I used all nighter. I'm gonna put the blue along the inner lower lid. And I'm just gonna take a Q-tip to blend along the bottom. I'm going back with another angled eyeliner brush. This one's from e.l.f. It's a rainbow brush. And I put hazmat on this brush. And I'm just going to uh, get some fallout because I didn't tap it off like I should have. But I'm going to use this to crisp up my wing. I'm going to use my Skin Tone Shade Powder, which is the Fenty 105 powder. And I'm taking a little bit of it on another Q-tip and I'm just going to use it right here at the edge of the blue and to try to fix the shape a little bit. All right, so I went ahead and did a little bit of blending off camera to just crisp everything up and fix up my brows. Everything I'm wearing will be in the description box down below. So off camera, I curled my lashes and I applied my favorite mascara, which is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. Then I used the NYX Epic Wear Liner in Blue Trip on my lower waterline because I thought it'd be fun to have like a pop of color. So now it's time for my face and I'm going to try a new product that I picked up. This is the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener in the shade Light. And it's got this weird little metal tip thing going on. And I'm going to let it sit there for a second because it's like a concealer. Actually, I'm gonna wait for like 30 seconds or so. And while I'm waiting for that to do its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Danessa Myricks Prism FX Hydrating Lotion in gold. I have been all about the gold lately. Just using a Cosette foundation brush. It's a flat foundation brush to just help me spread this a little bit more around my face. All right, I'm gonna take my KVD concealer brush Sorry, my camera just shut off. I'm going to put on the Urban Decay Hydromaniac in the shade 10, which is like ultra fair neutral. And I'm just blending it out with a, a new Cosmetics foundation brush. I truly love light coverage like this. I feel like it looks the best on my skin. I know what color of lips I want to put on. I don't know about blush yet. So I'm going to do my lips next. I'm going to use KVD's Pencil in Poe. Unfortunately, this dark blue is discontinued, but I feel like NYX has a similar color. And I'm trying a new to me color that I picked up recently. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty Ever Light Lip Color in Wolfsbane. I wanted to try the new formula to see what I think of it. This is an intense blue purple, which I thought would be perfect with this rainbow look.
For my blush, I'm gonna apply ColourPop Matchmaker. This is like a warm beige with gold shimmer. And I've been trying to change up my blush placement to find something that's more flattering for my face shape. And one of my friends suggested trying more straight across and bringing it more towards the center. So I've been working on that. I know I'm wearing every color of the rainbow for my look today, but I decided for my highlighter that I'm gonna use Silk Naturals Limeade, which is a beautiful iridescent green. I'm using the Sigma Samantha Ravindal highlighter brush. And I'm going to use my Silk Naturals Meld Powder and Light just to go all over my face. And then I'm going to spritz my face all over it with the Patrick Ta She's Thirsty Dewy Spray, because why not? All right, now that my makeup's done, let me zoom in so you can see the finished eye look up close. So here's the finished eye look up close. Here's the finished face makeup up close. Let me zoom further out so you can see my outfit as well. I'll obviously insert photos and or a video of my um, outfit as well, but this is one of my favorite outfits to wear. It's perfect for going out to hang out with friends. This top is from Hot Topic. I bought it, I don't know, one or two years ago, but I love it because it's just got this perfect little pastel rainbow moon and like the little cut uh, window cut out. So you can kind of see some cleavage. And then these pants are black milk. They're cuff pants with pockets. They're super comfortable. Black milk makes my favorite pants with like prints. All right, so that wraps up this matte rainbow eye. Get ready with me to hang out with my friends. What do you think of my matte rainbow eye look? How do you feel about my outfit? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It means the world to me and I am so grateful to you. Thank you so much for watching, beautiful creatures. I will see you next time. Bye.